What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Response Respawn. Today, we are playing two crazy Agent Venom decks. That's right, two crazy decks to today's video for the price of one. We're going to try to play roughly four or five games with each, maybe three, depending on how good we do right off the bat. We're running Agent Bounce, Agent Venom Bounce, and Agent Venom Kitty Pride. So, let's look at the Kitty Pride deck. This one's probably my strongest deck of the two. We have Hawkeye. We have Nightcrawler. We have Angela. We have Hulkbuster. All these cards could get boosted with Agent Venom. Mysterio with Agent Venom. Most underrated combo. It makes these Mysterio um, clones that he sends out. If I could get it to do it. Yeah, it makes these Mysterio clones that are normally 2-0. It makes them all the way up to 2 fours as well. Ironheart as well. Elsa, just because Elsa's underrated. Shang-Chi, just because I need some type of tech card in here. Because it does struggle with some of the big baddies. As well as Iron Man. Because Iron Man becoming a 5-4 is nuts. As well as White Tiger. Because a 5-4 plus a 5-8. I mean, that's a big hitter. That is 5-12 spread out across the board so yeah we love this deck this is great honestly it could use some adjustments but i've been playing the crap out of this one along with agent bounce this one's goofy i have hood mostly just to add the demon and because if he becomes a one four that's awesome sorry my allergies are so bad from our cat hawkeye becomes also a one four rocket he can become a one four or even a one nine you can bounce him back with Beast and Falcon. All these cards, you know, get more demons out. Master Mold to clog their hand. White Widow clog their board, clog their hand. Black Widow clog their hand. All for this big ass Ronin at the very end. So this this one, you probably have all the cards for this. I feel like most people should have the cards for this. I would definitely play this one. And the big star of is always Collector. Collector with the Hood combo. Collector with bouncing with falcon and beast he gets huge and honestly the only card that's negatively affected is ronin and beast by agent venom but it's worth it's a good combo i'm having a lot of fun so i'm calling this series how not to play agent venom though these decks seem to be pretty good they're not the traditional ones so let's get into a couple games real quick and see what we can do here yeah these are definitely not the normal decks that people play uh, Venom with. So they're playing Rocket. I'm playing Rocket first turn. I feel pretty good about that. Nope, no hit. <laughs> but we can we can put everything we want to bounce back on on the left lane. So ooh yeah for sure White Widow right here. They can't destroy it. So ooh. excuse me with my allergies, guys. Thank you guys for watching, by the way. If you're if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming here. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. We're definitely playing something there next turn. Um, well, wait a minute. Let's just do let's do this this for now. Well, I take that back. Let's do let's do this. <laughs> Because I was say, we might not get Beast, so I don't want to clog left. I mean, I still could use Falcon, but... Ooh! Thank you for Limbo. This deck also was one that I considered putting Magic in. Ooh, yes. Let's do this for now. <laughs> See, it's kind of weird having um, Collector, Master Mold, Ronin all in one, but... I, it's been working. It's been a lot of fun. Like I said, this is probably not the optimal deck for Age of Venom, but I try to make goofy fun decks, and if I get wins, I get wins. Okay, we can always bounce back Rocket later. <laughs> yeah. We could just give up mid and boost the Collector by playing, like, Hood. Give me Hood... And um, let me do Hood Falcon next turn. That would be good. Okay, there's the Sentinel. I feel like this is a bot, but you never know these days. I am Iron Man. 
18. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, perfect. Let's do this. Well, they didn't have it. Victory. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show you the the collector get pretty big, but that that's some good stuff. I just the one thing I love about this deck is there never feels like a wrong play. There's always a best play, obviously, for the best score, but I never feel like I can play. I never feel like there's nothing to play. I always have cards to play. I never feel like I'm missing out on playing anything. I feel like this deck, it's it's simple. You can turn your brain off. You can just enjoy the game. You don't have to strategically, you know, you don't feel like one turn you've lost it. I'm not a big fan of playing a deck and I feel like I've lost the game from one turn. If that makes sense. Basically combo decks are fun. I love playing combo decks when they work, but this is not a combo deck. This is a, you know, this is a wonderful, there's not much big cards in this deck. The only thing that's big really is Age of Venom or Ronin. Like, we don't have anything huge to play, so we might as well just fill mid. Ooh. Oh, heck yeah. Hit the Ronin. Nice. Uh, I guess we could just do this. Oh, I could have milked a hood. I could have uh, milked a demon mid, though. Man, I didn't think of that. Ooh. Is that a Null version of Thor? Custom card, yeah, it's like Noel. That's awesome. Actually, that's sick, dude. Uh, let's see. We can do this, this. I feel like we could definitely get past, past, past them over in mid. Symbiote Spider-Man. Ooh. Speaking of which, let's just throw this mid. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. do this and this and then yeah we have more space with Ronin depending on what we want to do kill my yes perfect so yeah just this and that yeah oh I didn't have it heck yeah they got worried Cool stuff, though. Cool stuff. Honestly, Devil Dino could even work better than Ronin, but I don't know. I like the Ronin. Um, I like playing Master Mold. I'm trying to think what the other cards we have running in here are. To, like, you know, prevent them from drawing. Well, we have the Clog stuff from um, Black Widow. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little goofy, but... I just, I enjoy doing like the Widow Kiss stuff. I enjoy doing Beast and Falcon. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, I feel like if you guys run this deck, it's it's always fun. See, it does suck when you draw the Iron Man though, because you want to hit that Iron Man with that 5-4 from Agent Venom. But at least we've got to showcase Venom a little bit. Because, I mean, he's a 2-4 when you put him in a deck like this. Whenever he's basically boosting the whole deck by one or two points. I mean, you're getting, what, there's still on turn two, seven cards in your deck. Six cards in your deck. Or, seven or eight cards in your deck. So, I mean, heck, boosting it that much, is a, that's a big help. You're boosting, basically, he, he's basically a, a two... 11 right like a 211 and 212 but that's only i mean he's pretty strong when you think about it mm, yeah let's just do this clog their hand mm -mm. So we don't want to beast next turn, this turn. So I guess, I guess we just do this. Or actually, you know what?
Either way, either way, I think we're good. Yeah, there. See, because they played the Hobgoblin. Good thing we didn't play that there. <laughs> it all works out. Okay. Why didn't they play into Rescue Order? We'll never know. Um. Let's see. That should be pretty strong, right? I was gonna say, this doesn't pull anything. Ooh, this could pull something though. Holy crap, wait a minute. That would... I mean, that's pretty good. I, th I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think I like that. Okay. Scorpion, okay, that leads by one over there. Do we beat 12, though? No. Heck yeah. I think it's a bot, but still, that, that was a fun play. <laughs> Pulling the Hobgoblin back off the board. Victory. Nice. So that is our agent bounce deck. Obviously, it's a little goofy. It's a little funny. Well, hopefully, showcasing this agent Venom Kitty deck. I mean, hopefully, we can get some wins. I had a technical error with the first one, so let's try to get right in here. Try to see if we can get like three wins. I don't mind playing Nightcrawler into Strange Academy whatsoever. Mysterio is awesome in Strange Academy. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I played Agent Venom mid. I wasn't even paying attention. Still bot for sure. We can still win this, but oh my god. I can't believe I did that. Just might as well hit the Hulkbuster on the Nightcrawler. Alright, let's see. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate all of you guys watching. It's a great game to make these videos. I'm fine with Limbo too. This deck thrives with Limbo. Let's see. Um, unlucky draw, but that's okay. We're at nine. Okay, that's okay. Still ahead by two. Honestly, just play this here. Might as well. Come on. What's that? Mr. Negative? Okay. Well, you played that mid too. We're good. <laughs> it's 12. That's nine. Do this. Do this. 9, 18, 13. I mean, we could just honestly play Shang-Chi right next turn. Yeah. I am Iron Man. Yeah, so we just go... I was going to say, I think it's always just... We got six. Ooh, we could just do that. Up seven. Shang-Chi right, Ironheart. We'll hit either mid or left, that's fine. We'll get both. Oh, it's small enough, but that's still okay. They didn't play anything anywhere else. Yeah, they overcommitted on the right, so. Boom, easy peasy. 26-14, baby. I mean, not even close. Good game, though. I love this new opening song. This one on the main screen is great. I see I have not been playing too much yet this season. So it's nice to finally get to record. I've been working a good bit, so finally get in front of the camera and play a couple games. 
I made these decks a couple days ago, so I'm happy to finally get to record this video and get this out. So, yeah, like I said, thank you all for watching. Let's try to get one more win, hopefully play against not a bot. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Let's see. Ooh, that's a good opening hand. See, you like to have Mysterio in deck until you hit Agent Venom. If not, he's not the best, other than taking up board space. Just because it's you want to fill your board. Ooh, well, wait a minute. We can just put everything in Strange Academy and then it will move. Heck yeah, give me something good. Nice. Scarlet Spider I will take as well. Let's just do... No, wait, let's just... I think it's actually better for the time being to do this, this. Take your aim. Kitty would be the best card to draw. Nice. Okay, kill Mongolier, that's still okay. Yes, yes. Now we can duplicate the Scarlet Spider, which is a 4-7, so that's awesome. Honestly, Scarlet Spider might be good in this type of deck anyway. I don't have him in here, but I think he might actually be possibly better than Ironheart. Maybe if you weren't running Age of Venom, I mean, I could see some type of buffing like Angela, Kitty Pride, Elsa, Scarlet Spider deck. That would be pretty effective. Anything to make Scarlet Spider bigger is always awesome. Because, yeah, like right now, I can essentially just play. I can play this here, this here, and then activate this. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. Oh, wait, wait, oop, I almost played wrong. I forgot about the, her. Okay. Yeah, because this will be boosted at four, eight, I am. seven, I am. fourteen. Yeah, we're good. And then, yeah, that'll be 14 mid. What's that? Death Strike. Ooh, good play with them on the Death Strike. Holy crap, that actually did win it for them. Man, GG, bro. Death Strike is not a card I see played much, and that is a great counter for those Mysterios. Because, yeah, she's still 3 power. Yeah. So since they're yet to reveal, they're, they're, they're 0. So yeah, that's good for good good play. Good play. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this has been how not to play Age of Venom. A couple fun, goofy decks. But yeah, stay tuned. I have a couple more uh theme decks coming in the next couple weeks and hopefully some more collector's stuff where I'm trying to collect some more cards. So yeah. Like this variant is pretty awesome with Thor, honestly. Like that is a pretty sick card. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.